This clip is brought to you by Piedmontese Beef, the best beef on the planet. Use code POWER for 25% off your entire order. Enjoy the clip and enjoy your meat. Were you guys able to talk much in recent memory? Like, I mean, I don't know. But like, I mean, no, he's on Power Magazine. Mm -hmm. But did you guys keep contact at all? I haven't spoke to Louis in a few years. Um, so I, so Louis Simmons, you know, he ended up on the cover of, of Power Magazine years ago. Um, he and I... Uh, haven't really talked since, well, the movie came out in like 2015 or something like that. I think that might've been the last time uh, I had some communication with him. I was fired by Louis Simmons. I used to do uh, CrossFit powerlifting certification seminars for him. And uh, Jesse and I just, we we were trying to peel it back a lot and he just wouldn't let us. When you say and, peel it back, what do you mean? Well, uh, so I started recognizing that the first of all the crossfitters they didn't even really care about like learning these methods they were kind of just there just to get another cert mm. uh because mm. you know it, it it helped their gym for them to have as many of these crossfit certification courses as they could so they got like you know more letters or more confirmation that they're great coaches or something um anyway uh we kind of recognized that they didn't really care about uh, just some of the X's and O's that Louis wanted us to teach about yeah. um, all this, all these reasons on why to do the dynamic effort stuff. We would, we would just instead, we would just show them, mm -hmm. and we would talk to them about how they can implement it into their training. Uh, but Louis wanted us to like very strictly like teach a very specific way, and that's why I don't work for anybody. <laughs> I just it's hard for me mm -hmm. to conform to anybody else's rules. And so we had some differencing of opinion there. And so he let me go. But um, I've always had nothing but love in my heart for the guy. Like I've always been uh, a huge fan of his, like in the movie, like as you'll see, I don't know if you got to this part yet, but like I talk about Louis Simmons in the movie and it kind of paints me a little bit as like a heel, but it wasn't really anything uh, bad. It was more like uh, Louis has one of the greatest methods of all time. Uh, he loves powerlifting. Powerlifting has changed. They, power lifters went from utilizing, you know, uh, squat suits and, and uh, bench shirts and stuff like that into lifting raw. And my uh, criticism was like, where is Louis now? Like, how come his guys aren't competing against, uh, how come these guys aren't competing raw against some of these other people? Because Louis really loved boxing. And then as boxing transitioned out and it got phased out by MMA, mm -hmm. I was like, so boxers used to wear these like big gloves and now there's a new sport and these guys don't really have gloves. Uh, and I was like, Lou likes that, but like, why, why won't his own guys? And I just think that like he was kind of set in what he was doing and he was very comfortable in what he was doing. And guys were squatting 1,100, 1,200 pounds. Oh, yeah. And just breaking all kinds of crazy records that he felt confident in in that. But I just think he still, you know, as much as he did for powerlifting, as much as he did for Westside, I still think there could have even been another level because he had a lot of individuals in his gym benching 600 pounds raw, deadlifting 800 pounds raw. But he didn't want those guys going out and competing that way for who knows why. Hmm. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right, share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right, peace.